Hi students, in this session we are going to discuss on the topic cosmic rays. This topic is a part of our 6th semester BSc physics uh, syllabus and it forms a part of our paper nuclear physics, particle physics and astrophysics. Now let us go into what are cosmic rays. Cosmic rays are high energy charged particles with energy in the order of a few giga electron volts entering into the Earth's atmosphere from the outer space. These rays are continuously coming into the Earth's atmosphere. So they are high energy charged particles coming into the Earth's atmosphere from outer space. Now how were these cosmic rays discovered? C.T.R. Wilson in England and Elser and uh, Gatel in Germany observed that if a properly insulated and charged gold leaf electroscope, when it's left to itself, the charge on the gold leaves leak gradually and the electroscope is ultimately discharged. This is possible only if this air around the gold leaf is ionized. That is leakage of charge. Suppose you have charged your, uh, you have brought some kind of charged body near the brass disc or you have brought some kind of charged body in contact with the brass disc. So either by induction or by conduction, uh, charge will flow uh, through this and charges will reach both the glass leaves, uh, I mean gold leaves. Since both the gold leaves have the same kind of charge on them, the leaves will be repelled. Okay. Now, the gold leaves are placed inside an insulating conductor with air inside it. Air is also a bad conductor or an insulator. So, the charge on the gold leaf must not leak or it must not conduct away. That is what we expect. But it is found that gradually as time passes, the charge on these gold leaves will leak or the charge will conduct and the gold leaves uh, will no longer repel each other and they touch and they come together and they touch each other because they have lost all the charges on them. For this to happen or this will happen only if the air inside the chamber is ionized. Once the air is ionized, uh, the charges can conduct through that medium. Okay, so how did uh, we found that the charge on the gold leaves leaked away gradually after some time? Now, what does that mean? The air inside the chamber has got ionized. Now, what is responsible for ionizing? the air inside the chamber. There must be some radiation which has penetrated into our uh, electroscope and ionized the air here. Even the air in a radiation cut on the air ionized it. That's why the air ionized the air in gold leaf charge in the leak the leaf in the leaf in the leaf in uncharged that means some kind of radiation has penetrated into this chamber. First, it was considered that the radiation coming from the radioactive materials on the earth's surface is responsible for these ionizations. And it was Hess, H-E-S-S, -S, a scientist who studied or checked whether the ra radiations from the radioactive materials is responsible for the ionization. Hess on check the study the radioactive substances radiations are ionization. For that, what he did was he took the electroscope to different heights. We are in the electroscope if it is due to the radiations from the earth, then uh, the ionization of the air inside the chamber should decrease with increase in height because uh, the intensity of the radiation reaching inside the electroscope should reduce with height. So what we expect is the ionization of the air and hence the charge leakage must reduce with height. But 
it was found that the ionization and charge leakage increased with height. Not only that, the electroscope was taken to depths inside the earth. Earth in the Alangali lake, Mainagali lella, electroscope in a Kunduboi, check the Jedunoki, Engineyan, charge leakage in the effect. And so, when the uh, electroscope was taken underground or into the depth, it was found that uh, there also the ionization is present and the charges were leaked. Uh, if the ionization is because of the radiations coming from the uh, surface of the earth, when one goes down the mine, um, the ionization of the air in the chamber must not decrease. That is, the we have to do the same radioactive substances radiation in the air ionized. The air ionized air ionized the charge leak. The ionization of the air in the chamber was found to decrease. When you go into the depth of the earth, earth in the lake, Kombo, even air in the ionization, Korean night and Ganapet. That means the radiations coming from the radioactive substances in the earth surface is not on the earth surface, is not responsible for the ionization of the air and the charge leakage, or uh, that means some other kind of penetrating radiation is responsible for it. And it was concluded that these penetrating radiations uh, responsible for the charge leakage is coming from all directions from interstellar space. S called these radiations as Hohenstrelung and he considered and he is considered as the discoverer of the cosmic rays. Okay, now uh, but the term cosmic rays was coined by Millikan. Now what are, I uh, told you, what are cosmic rays? They are high energy charged particles uh, entering into the Earth's atmosphere from outer space in all directions. Now, what are the different types of cosmic rays? They are of two kinds, primary cosmic rays and secondary cosmic rays. Now, primary cosmic rays are uh, those cosmic rays which are directly incident on the outer boundaries of the Earth's atmosphere. It consists of charged nuclei with atomic number up to 40. About 90% of the primary cosmic rays are protons, 9% helium and the remaining heavy nuclei. These, uh, their energies range from uh, 1 MeV to about 10 raised to 14 MeV. The second kind of cosmic rays is the secondary cosmic rays which are produced when the primary cosmic rays collide with the uh, air molecules present in the Earth's atmosphere. That is, it is produced when the primary cosmic rays interact with the atmospheric gases. Now, below an altitude of 2 kilometers, all the cosmic rays are secondary. Now, on entering the Earth's atmosphere, the primary cosmic rays collide with the particles or molecules in the air and, uh, and they are broken down into smaller fragments. Uh, they themselves split into smaller fragments and they also split the air molecules into smaller fragments and thus secondary cosmic rays are formed. At the sea level, 70% of the secondary cosmic rays are mesons, 29% are percent are electrons and positron pairs and 1% heavy nuclei. Now mesons in the secondary cosmic rays are called the hard components or they form the hard components in the cosmic rays and electrons and positrons constitute the soft components. Now the penetrating power of the uh, uh, hard and soft components in the cosmic rays are also different. Hard components have high penetrating power whereas soft components are easily absorbed. Next, there are different theories regarding the origin of cosmic rays, but uh, none of them are completely successful in explaining the origin and are not universally accepted. The first theory is the explosion theory and according to this theory, the whole mass of the universe was concentrated in a single speck and it exploded giving rise to the different stars and galaxies and during these explosions, uh, uh, the cosmic rays were released and cosmic rays are considered as the dust of this dusts of this explosion. But if the cosmic rays were created in such a tremendous explosion, it should have broken up the heavy nuclei too, 
but we find that primary cosmic rays contains uh, a small percentage of heavy nuclei also in it. That means the explosion theory is not completely correct. Next is that uh, the cosmic rays have their origin from the uh, cosmic ray stars. Now the cosmic rays reaching the earth, uh, they reach the earth with the same intensity uniformly in all directions. That means they are coming from, they can be coming from the 10 raised to 11 stars present in our galaxy, which include double stars, variable stars, novae, supernovae, etc. The next theory is that they are coming from the sun. Now, sun is a source of low energy cosmic rays. It is considered to be a source of low energy cosmic rays and it is uh, told that during the solar activity, violent explosions occur and ionized gases are given out. But it occurs at uh, erratically at different instances. The solar activity occurs. It is not a uniform process. But the cosmic ray intensity is found to be uniform. So, sun also cannot be considered to be responsible for all the cosmic rays. Now, the current view is that sun emits the low energy cosmic rays while the high energy cosmic rays come from the cosmic ray star. So, I expect uh, and I hope the session on cosmic rays which included what are cosmic rays, the discovery of cosmic rays, the, its types and the theories behind the origin of cosmic rays is clear to all of you. Please go through the notes and the uh, video session. If you have any doubts, please do contact.